So what is the scoop on how some proficiency gets kept and some doesn't? Okay, uh, so Act 2, you reset to 15 proficiency. Um, just baseline. Well, this is messy. Yeah, part of the reason why I like melee is I'm invulnerable, kind of. Well, my shot is connecting. Ace that for a hot second. You suck. There we go. Okay, there's one more of these guys. Really? Gonna be like that. Alright, there we go. Got it. And we got a chest. So if I'm lucky... I actually get a decent weapon to start off with, if I can find the, uh, the unlock mechanism. Just hide it kind of in this general vicinity. There it is. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, Act 2, always reset, well, I mean, it's a better gun than I'm using. It's just not what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, you always reset to 15. I wish there was a little bit of a meta progression, like... So many of my complaints about this game would evaporate if there were more light meta progression systems that uh, kind of smooth things out a little bit. So, like, if you slowly gained maximum proficiency level, uh, so eventually it's level 30 instead, like, I, I think that actually would be a really solid way of handling the difficulty curve. It would still suck, but that means, like, if you suck that much, well, okay, here's, uh, here's enough stuff to... To keep it from becoming awful. Oh, I do have a key. Oh, let's go check the chest, though. Because I... Uh, the one bit of meta progression that this game does have, that I do like, is uh, Weapon Purse. So if you notice, this, uh, the Coil Spine Shredder, which I don't like this gun, but it has splitting discs, new 0%. By leveling that up, it, I will unlock it per permanently for all future... Uh, Coil Spine Launchers, or whatever the name is, I've already forgotten. Um, uh, let's see, what are you? Fixes or prevents... Oh, well that's hilarious. <laughs> My malfunction required me to pick up a parasite to get rid of it. And my parasite got rid of malfunctions. That's... Alright, that is what it is. Um, anywho. Brain, meta progression, things. Uh, so unlocking new new weapon perks uh, keeps them forever on the gun. You can only have three on a gun at a time. But they at least go up to level two. Uh, so specifically, if I can get this gun so all of its perks are level two, as opposed to like... Uh, as opposed to, you know, a bunch of level 1 perks. Or even, like, only two level 1 perks. Like, those those perks help tremendously. Unfortunately, they take a tremendous amount of time. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna grab that regardless. A Rogue Legacy style meta progression would be interesting no matter how slow. I just, like, just a little bit to offset the difficulty curve by, by grinding is nice. I still think an accessibility, uh, like, accessibility options are a better idea. Uh, but yeah, just having it so that, you know, maybe even you had this kind of, like, perk tree that you, you level up very slowly. And so, first 15 levels are fairly normal. Uh, and then eventually you're getting, like, just small maximum HP upgrades. Okay, so bad news... Kind of bad news. Okay, do we got another bad bird? We got at least one of them. There we go. I stand by the statement of they're actually a lot easier to fight in melee, weirdly enough. But no, I... 
I think Rogue Legacy's difficulty curve equally was kind of bad because ultimately it just made the game into a grind fest instead of actually anything interesting. But it was a very good way of turning grind into a into a substantive difficulty curve that didn't feel boring or frustrating. Because it was actually kind of fun finding, you know, going on a run and coming away with like two dozen uh, you know, chests worth of items or just like gobs full of gold and you're just like, yeah, you know, that was a good run and then you go back to the castle and you upgrade a bunch of things and you're like, yeah, and like admittedly the illusion wears off kind of quick in my opinion, but it was satisfying because you effectively spent half the game just being a complete jobber and then at some point uh, at some point you kind of hit that that threshold where suddenly the game is easy and like you could farm anything freely uh, and then it just opens up and you just you just burn through the game no problem let's see what do we got down here and like that was that felt good even if maybe it wasn't the best organizer uh do I want that I don't really not overwhelmingly Let's see. I don't really want to do the bonus room right now. Okay, grab the cash. Do we have any other flyers or is it just this guy? Looks like it's just this guy. Well, luckily those weren't purple, otherwise this would have been bad. Maybe I should invest in that better melee weapon upgrade. I don't think it's shown up on this one. Usually I poo-poo it because, like, I don't need it. But the answer is no, I actually... I hit things in melee a lot. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad move. my chat port is everybody just enthralled I think it's a quiet day that I think this is one of those games that a lot of people aren't actually that interested in or are very interested in and aren't gonna chat much something I can say about Returnal is that the room design map generation is certainly unique for roguelike maybe not a lot of total rooms but it doesn't look like the rooms repeat themselves that much each run I I haven't seen many rooms repeated in the same run, but I, it's been a long time since I've seen an entirely new room. Uh, that you actually you actually see the limits to the amount of content that they created for this game very quickly, uh, which is kind of tragic. Because like I've been in this room a dozen times, I've been in the last room a dozen times, battle room a dozen times, and there's only like two mid boss enemies that you can even fight. Uh, maybe it's not as apparent if you're just watching, but from like a playing perspective, uh, if this game wasn't so hard, I could almost play this game blindfolded, assuming that I somehow knew which room I was in. Alright. Was that worth it? Probably not. Let's go die. I probably should have gone for the ether more than the money. Because one of those is a lot more useful than the other. Well, I'm not dead yet. Let's see. Oops. Let's also not hop into the pit. Because that would also kill me. I've been really lucky we find a healing item in one of these. Well, that's a lock chest. That's not helpful. On the plus side, I got the perk for this gun. We. I will take it, because there's no reason not to. Yeah, sometimes these eggs have heals in them. 
but not today. All right. That sounds like how I got with Destiny. It was like autopilot. Yeah. Yeah, just running around, especially in the open world. Ah, there I go. Dang. I was trying to aim for the, uh, the grapple point. Because you're invulnerable while grappling, but it's fine. I got the perk. That's really all that mattered. Alright, what do you got for me? This is the other meta progression, is unlocking these. That's okay. Okay, well, I don't have a key. I do kind of wish you could keep keys between runs. They're kind of uncommon to begin with, so it's just like, I don't know, kind of nice. There we go. Anything else? Nope. And down we go. Whee! They knew the Cosmodrome like it was your own neighborhood. I, now that they announced their new uh, shader changes, I actually am like really tempted to go back to Destiny. I, uh, maybe once I'm done with my, my current set of video essays. I'll start doing Thursday Community Day. I really do not like the uh, Coil Spine Shredder. I kind of regret unlocking it, because it's, it's not my favorite kind of gun. This game does not really thrive too well off of, uh, like, a sniper rifle. That sucks. Especially because it doesn't actually do a whole lot of damage. Like, this gun, for how slow it fires, uh, absolutely feels like it should almost one-shot everything you're shooting at. It doesn't work that way, and it's really weird. And it also, like, slows you down when you're shooting it, and it's not the most accurate gun. Like, it seems like the kind of gun that's only good if you're at high adrenaline levels and no other time. Oh, you're not dead yet. I guess I gotta level up my sword. Okay, do we have another critter there? I don't know. I'll just be up above. Expect that now, did ya? Wait, does melee destroy purple? I have no idea. It probably doesn't. That'd be way too convenient. All right. I like the idea of the snub nose. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I want to finish leveling the perk, but I also just don't like the gun. So the sooner I can get rid of it, the better. like it. Like, one fewer kills to increase adrenaline levels is actually really good, but... Oh. Slight variance on... Oh, wait, no, no. Not slight variance on level. I just went to the wrong branch. Well. Is it wrong? Not really, it's just not the one with the loot that I was looking for. So what are you? That's not interesting to me. Oh, this is just healing. Uh, we'll get it. I ain't coming back here anyway. Use a consumable. Well, that's a problem. We... Use a consumable. Ah! I'm gonna wait on using that one, though. 
Oh, proficiency gain disabled. Oh, that's a little tougher. Gain no EXP. Use a healing item. I don't know. I think gaining no EXP for a bit is probably more valuable. Okay. Uh, crit. Oh, I can't. It won't let me. Are you resin? Resin. Go over here, see if I get anything. Sometimes this has a use item in it. Please? Uh, it looks like a use item. Extermination sphere. Works for me. I can't use it either. Come on. Give me a parasite. Gosh. When do you say that sentence? Ever. Like, hello, yes. I would like one... A uh, slightly symbiotic parasite. Like, say that to anybody and they're gonna look at you like you're crazy. Unless this is back in the day when leeches were, like, cool. I just free protection augment. I would love to see a run where I could actually stack multiple of those so I just become super tanky. That's like a line from Rick and Morty. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong about that. Oops. Sounds a lot more, like, feasible within the Rick and Morty universe, too. More resin. Actually sure what happens when I stack too many of those, but uh, I'm not gonna bother with it. Is that actually an explorable area down there? It doesn't look like it. That sucks. Because melee cooldown. Is there? It the kind of is. You need to not be here. This room's messy. This gun's bad. There we go. Maybe it's not bad. Oh, well, we got the, uh... Snub, snub nose trait, whatever that does. Boy, he really wants me to get that melee perk. Well, let's see what we get in here. not take any more damage. Luckily, I think there's a fair bit of heals back in the outer area, so that's okay. That second uh, interminable run you did on the launch day, you were a tank. Yeah, though a lot of that has to do with the fact that the enemies were a lot weaker um, in Act 1. Like, tremendously so. Ooh, projectile portal. That's good in a pinch. But yeah, the one that made that run so good was every adrenaline level that I had increased uh, my life leech effectively by 5%. Uh, so if I was at, you know, the... F do you have a key? I do have a key. If I was at the full level 5 adrenaline, that was a 25% life leech on the damage that I did. And that actually turned out to be... Like, a lot of healing. Ah, let's hold on to that one. Because that's, that's actually really good 
Parasite. Bonus lives are super handy. Oh, who is that? Thank you. Nope. Thank you, uh, the Cow Cat Cafe for the sub. Welcome on in. How you doing? Okay. Did we get everything? No. We want to go across. We also want to find a new gun. I could go back for the sniper rifle, but frankly, no. Okay, maybe I will, seeing as this is here. Uh, can I? Yeah, I think it's this room. Was it? Yeah. Maybe? Crisis of Faith. Is this my old pistol, or is this the sniper rifle that I hate? Sniper rifle that I hate. Perfect. Main reason for it. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's, um... Over here. I forget what perk this was. I didn't have enough money for it at the time. Oh, it's Overload Rush. No. I can never reliably do that. I'm way too impatient. Okay. Back to target location. We'll be good. Hopefully. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we'll get a new gun sooner than later so I don't get wrecked. Oh, let's switch over to Projectile Portal. No matter what, this will help out. Let's see. I have you said to cow right. I did I? I hope so. <laughs> the moment you say like Whoop. you're happy about it, I suddenly feel like super self-conscious, and I'm like, did I do it right? Even though you confirmed it, and then I have to like examine my memories of like, did I say that right? There we go. Tech up. Oh, nah. It's like a. Uh, it's like Schrodinger's pronunci Schrodinger's pronunciation. You're right until you have to think about it, and then it becomes observed, and then you're always wrong. It throws me off every single time. Let's pop this open. I got enough money. Take a gamble. First level is cheap, and sometimes I get goods. Sometimes I get random shit like that. I what it feels like to be teleported. I... I feel like, especially in this game, it's just... almost mandated to be horrifying. Like, there's... there's no way that getting teleported in this universe is, like, good for you. I forgot about that. Question. I, I shoot these. No. Well, it's fine. Not dead yet. Okay. Still not dead yet. Okay, I see a chest. The chest is locked. I uh... Oh. It's up there. It's dead. Thank you. Please give health. That's a smidge. Probably feels like getting snapped. Yeah. Gosh, what universe was it? I remember playing a game once. Uh, was it a game or was it reading a book? 
where effectively the teleportation ma matrix had like a one in a million, one in a ten thousand. It it had some incredibly low chance of replacing the person with like an alt universe version of them, uh, or something else entirely. I don't entirely remember what it was. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is going to be real fun. Tell me these go away after a certain point. Otherwise, we're gonna have to have words. I can't see what I'm doing anymore. How did that hit me? Okay. Well, at least that guy's not insta-death anymore. Still sucks. Okay. New gun. Electropylon driver. Unfortunately, does not have anything level up. Well, alright. All is forgiven. Whee! Oh, shit, really? Oh, okay, we're not here. We're somewhere completely different. Oh, two-way radio gives a uh, synergistic bonus between, oh, a synergistic bonus between the amount of ethers I have and protection. That's actually really good. That's also really good. Okay. Oh. And I am actually leveling a perk here. I'm leveling up a horizontal barrage, too. That's actually... That's helpful. Because the more of these perks that I level, hopefully... Uh, the stronger my guns will be. I don't necessarily know if you can get a lower tier version of a perk that you've upgraded to level 2. Like, for example, if I... If I find a gun with horizontal barrage in the future, will it always be level 2? Because I feel like that would be a really good way of kind of balancing things. But you never know. Let's see. Doesn't Nightcrawler's teleportation take you essentially through hell? I'm pretty sure that's exactly correct, yes. Or at least the Marvel's kind of variant of. Now I actually have a good gun. Watch as these enemies kind of just die automatically after I shoot them once. It's so good. And, I mean, to be honest, that sniper actually did make decent work of the boss. I shouldn't completely disregard it. Okay, what is this? Blast shell doesn't get anything new. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, this is the set it and forget it gun, and it's so good for that. I didn't realize you were here, horror man. Okay, what I want to do is kind of keep on the move. And just keep webbing him. 
only immediate problem is I have to know what he's up to. I think he does shit like that. There we go. I think he died midair. Okay. Uh, that does level up the tendril pod. But we'll leave that for a bit. I like this gun better. I don't care as much about tendril pod. I think you can actually get the level one uh, perks. Looking at that. Oh well. I wonder if the level 2 perks, perks don't really start showing up until you're at level 20 proficiency or something like that. Does Marvel have multiple hells, technically? I'm pretty sure they do, yeah. Hey, it's Marvel. They can have as many, uh... They can have as many hells as they want. Like, I, I think that's actually a, a... I have many grievances I've noticed in life. I think it's mainly just because I'm I'm a critical person. Um, but it's just like... Marvel Comics have always just kind of been this like weird thing of like, need a character? Make a character. Oh, we need a... Uh, we need some kind of hell thing. Okay, let's make hell. Well, we already have hell. But it doesn't really do what we need it to do. What do we do now? Uh, why not make second bonus hell? And then everybody just kind of nods and goes along with it just because, like, it's not like Marvel was ever that consistent to begin with. It's part of the reason why I pretty much only just experience the MCU nowadays, because it's just like, hey, uh, if they ever, if they ever reboot everything, like, it's still going to be kind of a, a solid continuity. Because otherwise, I just feel lost reading the comics. Like, I tried reading Injustice Gods Among Us, which is admittedly DC, but there's this, like, very definitive feeling... Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, this. You may wonder why. That's because... Some things are gonna come out of this. No, they're not. Okay, well, I want to go for the Hollow Seeker. MCU contradicts itself at times, unfortunately. It's still more consistent, I would say. Damn. It's still generally more consistent than uh, the comics ever were. I guess is the real, real point I'm going with. Because, like, the comics very much are just kind of... Everything goes. And always have been. And it's like, it's kind of fun for fluff reading, but... It's kind of exhausting if you actually care about, like, beginnings, middles, and ends. Because there ain't none. And there never will be. There we go. What do you got for me? Spoiled resin. Worth a shot. Anything else? Back up to full. And we good. I know at least Hell and Helheim exist in Marvel. Yeah, I honestly, the existence of gods in Marvel has always just been super confusing to me. Because I think the answer is just like, yeah, they all exist, but also, they're not actually that cool. They always like to rep Thor up as, uh, as, like, a deity in the flesh just walking around. But then he just gets jobs by random things, and it's just like, yeah, I mean, it do be like that. that. Man, 
man. Speaking of Helheim and Niflheim and all that stuff, really looking forward to whenever the next God of War comes out. No idea when that's going to be, but, like, that of Boy was just such a joyous game. And I've been anxiously awaiting a follow-up. Okay, so I gotta open two containers. I think there's two in this map. Hell yeah. Holy shit, there's three. Alright, let's start with this one. Well, mid-air, reduce damage. Well, stationary, reduce damage. Cannot pick up new weapons. Fabricate weapons. That's okay. Oh, we got we did get serrated projectiles. Alright. This was kind of weird and messy, but we're here. It's fine. More malignancy. Holy shit, yeah, there were four chests in this room. Pop this one open. Anti-energy pulse. Oh, right, I can only have two. That sucks. Uh, eh, let's go for this one. Oh, right, can't change weapons. I guess we gotta find a warp point. Oh, there's one right over here. Let's just go fabricate some stuff. Actually, we learned some time ago that Kratos wasn't supposed to say boy all the time. Apparently, when they were doing the voice acting segments, they couldn't think of a name for the kid yet, so they just had him say boy as a placeholder. Uh, but then everyone fell in love with it and decided to keep it. As they should. It was endearing. That whole game was incredibly well made. Okay, so we want the electropylon driver over here. I like this gun, but we've already we've already grabbed what we needed to get out of it. Oi. Oi. I also love that his voice by Tilt. Dude, that was great. He was such a good pick for that. I'm honestly surprised that they didn't... That he hasn't been in more things. He's got such a good voice. But, like, I don't remember his acting career being that big post, uh... Post Stargate. And then... Let's see. Malignant res. I'm pop these open. Map is scrambled. Oh, well, that's inconvenient. I gotta fabricate an item, but I think what I want to do is go into the battle room. I apologize for the glitchy map, but this will be worth it in the end. Hello! Give me that sweet cash. I don't see anything else in here that's actually worth anything. We'll bust some eggs up. And then we'll get rolling on this. Hello. Okay, this should actually be a lot easier. Electro pylon driver is just... I'm not going to say cruise control for cool, but... It certainly does make the whole... Fighting enemies in this area much easier. The only issue is a lot of enemies kind of die regardless of where I am. Okay, we don't actually want the Overlight Siphon. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that for a hot second. Leave them with a mess. Stay away from Damage Town. There we go. Give me that sweet cash. Because I kind of need it. Okay. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, and then there's the Tentacular Wonder. Perfect. Fell down, can't do anything to me. Enjoy that web, boy! Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Does whatever the hell he wants. Who's gonna stop him? Alright. So we're part way on Doombringer. I think I'm gonna stick with Doombringer. I don't even remember what Doombringer does. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to rely on my eyes to find these items. Oh well. What is this? Shield vial. Let's make that. And Oblites into integrity. Which is actually really good if I remember to use it. I forget to use it often. It's bad. I know. Oh, what's this one? Melee kills generate bolts of energy. I like that one. Boy, howdy, we made it out like bandits here. Okay. Resin shield? I'll take it. You know what's weird? So, now that I'm doing this clip bounty thing, which I should probably remi remind people about somewhat casually, of I'm handing out prizes to people that clip a lot on this channel. Um, but I've noticed I've been making a more subconscious effort of weird one-liners. I'm like, I'm not going to say I'm trying to act again because I'm not necessarily. Because, like, I, I think I've always tried to be at least somewhat, well, I generally always try try to be pretty authentic with, with my commentary. But that, uh, specifically with this, uh, you know, now that, now that I almost kind of feel like the camera's back on, I, I'm noticing I, I'm trying to be at least sassier. For better or worse. Okay, let's take a look at this. Adrenaline leech. Now we have healing. I wish I had enough money for this. Maybe I'll be able to get just enough. We'll see how it goes. Wanderbot says. Hey, Rito. How's it going? How are you finding Act 2? This, this thing's been kicking my ass. Translocation sphere. Get rid of the ex extermination junk. You can't catch me. I am too fast for you. We. Do we need that money? I just get leech rounds, easy peasy, brain off, gun on win. I, I don't know. Leech rounds, I think whenever I get the carbine, maybe I just haven't gotten the right perks for it yet. But it always feels super weak in comparison to like half my other guns. Uh, do we pop chest open? I think we do. Let's see what we get. Nope. What about this? Where does this take me? Oh, sweet pizza. Oh, it's a bonus shop. I don't know. So the one I want the most is Phantom Limb. Eliminating hostiles has a 10% chance of repaired integrity. Unfortunately, uh, I can't afford it, so I'm just going to grab this. 
Hopefully they'll show back up again, but honestly, considering I have the adrenaline heals me, I should be okay. We will see how it goes. All right. Anything else good? I think I already... Not this. I see through a rearview mirror darkly, plummeting into a lake of madness that scarred the underwater depths. It would have been better if certain fiends had never been born. Mother lied about the joy. There is only pain. Cripes. 